what do you see as the role of visual arts in our mass media painted world and particularly in our profession? In our profession as writers, um, visual arts are, they're what a lot of people see. Everyone has a television. Nearly everyone has access to the internet. There are images everywhere. It's our job as writers to provide context for that imagery and to take the pictures that other people come up with and make a story with them. Or to give a story to someone to make the pictures out of. It's our job to uh, provide a method for the madness, as it were. When it comes to video games, to movies, to television, it's going to be our job to make all of these disparate images come alive and actually provide context for them to whoever is watching them. Okay. Thank you. The next question is, with new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe this is having a positive or negative influence on our industry? Provide an example. Um, I believe that it can be positive or negative. Um, I think that in, to answer this particular question, I think at the moment it's a little more negative. To cite an example, uh, there have been multiple cases where people who have created something, you know, an image, a poster, a, uh, a picture of some sort, put it up online, and then other people have managed to get their hands on it and then make a couple of very slight alterations without the original creator's consent and made money off of it. And I believe there, there was a big debacle. It was a few years ago. I, I wish I had the sources right now, but um, it was, involved this little um, little cat that had a little bow on her head. It was drawn by someone that had a whole bunch of snarky comments, and someone else had taken it, did a very slight redesign. I believe they removed the tail or something, and then started trying to hawk it as their own, with everything else being exactly the same. Uh, they were called out on it in the art community, but things like that, can make it very difficult for um, artists to get paid for their work. Uh, the same thing can happen with us as writers, uh, although plagiarism is generally more easily found. Uh, the bigger problem we would end up having is people writing fan fiction based on our properties, changing the word slightly, and making millions upon millions of dollars. I'm looking at you, Fifty Shades of Grey. Popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment industry? Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, according to some. And that's something that we end up seeing a lot when it comes to certain imagery. Uh, a lot of people like to uh, lampoon other objects, uh, like, for example, uh, American Gothic, um, The Screamer. Or yeah, I think that's what it's called. You know, the one with the little O face, the you know, um, with the bridge in the background. Um, people like to um, uh, people like to use images that are familiar and put their own spin on it. If you watch The Simpsons, about every third or fourth episode, they will lampoon a uh, a famous painting one way or the other, and that's part of what allows us to get an inside joke, as it were with the uh, the with the stuff that we're watching on television. Um, something that makes us kind of feel clever when we see it. And uh, um, honestly, yeah, the uh, the Screamer, uh, American Gothic we've seen. Uh, everyone, um, La Pieta is another one that I've seen more than a few times for some reason. Uh, the Last Supper is another rather popular one. If you look around, there's a really cool one that has Star Wars people in it instead of uh, Jesus and his people, which I thought was pretty cute. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there particular images that this industry has popularized and created? Um, in our industry, I think the resurgence of the vampire as 
a creature embodying male passion has uh, been popularized uh, f- mo- most recently by um, by the whole Twilight thing and before that with Anne Rice. Um, our us as writers have managed to take something that was originally incredibly feared and was considered almost alien uh, during the Bram Stoker era era and uh, early movies uh, like Nosferatu, and they've turned it into something that uh, apparently a fair number of people lust after and considered more of a sexual icon as opposed to a uh, an object to be feared. Who is one of your favorite visual artists, and or what is your favorite style of visual art? Ooh, um, my favorite visual artist has got to be I'm gonna go with a uh, Frank Frazetta. Okay. Uh, Frank Frazetta is a fantasy artist who illustrated a lot of books and uh, some comic books, uh, including a lot of the Conan stuff. Uh, A lot of his figure drawings are incredibly uh, uber-masculine, and um, they're really designed to to, to push a more primal feel for whatever whatever he draws. Um, His line... He he doesn't need a lot of line work. All of his colors and his uh, balance are phenomenal. Um, he does a very good job of providing direct focus on people as opposed to the background. And I think that that lends well to certain kinds of, uh, to, to certain kinds of feelings. Uh, I, I think that, uh, he's done a really good job with pushing the boundaries of the savage and the, um, the warrior and being able to, per- being able to, you know, to bring that, through generations of audiences and still have them still have the same feeling. And I think that that's pretty powerful. Okay. Thank you for that answer. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Um, well, honestly, it helps me know what to imitate. Um, because there are so many different pieces of art, in the collective subconscious being able to know what can trigger certain things. Like if you think of say the Pieta, um, you're thinking of reverence and, uh, loss. Uh, if you think of the last supper, you're looking at, um, a communion, but with a little bit of, you know, with a little taste of betrayal, if you can channel some of those latent thoughts that, the collective subconscious has and be able to use them for your own ends, then that does a lot of the work for you in terms of writing or illustrating or, or hell anything being able to use things that are familiar and twist them to be something slightly different in your own is largely the mainstream of our, our, our culture at the moment. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's all the questions I have. Okay. Cool.